the engaged couple are set to make a flying visit to Edinburgh on February 13. Pair will learn about organisations in the region and meet with local businesses. Harry and Meghan are set to tie the knot at St George's Chapel, Windsor, in May. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are set to visit Edinburgh the day before Valentine's Day on their first official joint visit to Scotland. During their visit next Tuesday, Harry and Meghan will have the opportunity to meet members of the public, learn more about organisations that work in the local community and nationwide, and celebrate youth in the Scottish Year of Young People 2018. The couple, who are to wed on May 19, will make their first stop at the Esplanade in front of the iconic Edinburgh Castle, where they will be officially welcomed to the city by the Royal Marine Scotland Band. Prince Harry became Colonel-in-Chief of the Royal Marines in December. Scroll down for video inside the castle at the historic Edinburgh garrison, which looks out across the city, Harry and Meghan will observe the firing of the one o'clock gun. The tradition of firing a gun started in 1861 to mark time for ships in the Firth of Forth. Today the British Army fire a 105mm L118 light gun, which is the model currently used in operations worldwide. The couple will then travel on to Social Bite, a social business and cafe located in Edinburgh's new town. Social Bite runs social enterprise cafes throughout Scotland and uses this platform to distribute 100,000 items of food and hot drinks to homeless people each year as well as employing staff who have experienced homelessness themselves. In the cafe, Harry and Meghan will learn more about this social enterprise, meet staff and tour the kitchen. To conclude their visit, the couple will attend a reception at the Palace of Holderwood House to celebrate youth achievements, marking Scotland's Year of Young People 2018. The Year of Young People is an initiative that aims to inspire Scotland through its young people, celebrating their achievements, strengthening their voice on social issues and creating new opportunities for them to shine. Youth representatives from various charities and organisations that work with and for young people across the country will be present. The reception will provide an opportunity for them to talk about their aspirations for the year and the activities that they have been involved in so far.